Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So I basically reached the very grindy part of this phase of the game again. Where we're making all these things which is just taking for forever. So let's see if we can do something about... Well I want to show you one trick first of all. Let's have a look at this. What I'd like to do is I'd like to set up a recipe for a 16k storage. In fact that's the recipe. I haven't got all of those bits but it's no problem. You can put it in like this. You need four of these, and uh, two of these, one glowstone, and 32 flux dusk. And that will make a 16k storage. Now, I don't have a 16k storage, but what you can do is you can use anything you like. So let's go in here and get a piece of wood, for instance. I've got one piece of wood. I've got no recipes for wood, so I can make a wood recipe like this. And click that under process, and then I've got a recipe for wood. So let's go and put that recipe for wood, which of course is not a piece of recipe for wood, into here. Okay, and let's come back over here and see if we can actually make a recipe for wood. I'm not sure we can, to be honest with you. I've got 62, maybe that's a bad choice. What are going to do? Craft. Let's craft one of these. Oops. Next. So I'm actually short of phosphorus at the moment. Otherwise I'd be able to do that. Now why do we not have enough phosphorus? I have to think how can I get the phosphorus to be made? I thought the phosphorus was being made from Have you ever got a recipe for phosphorus? Let's have a look. Um let's just view craftable and let's look for phosphorus. Phosphate. Do I not have a recipe for phosphorus? That's interesting. It doesn't look like I do. Well, I'm sure we've got tons of phosphate and tons of aluminium phosphate. Um, so phosphorus. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize something about that. So we basically got to um, create a recipe. Let's have a look. What have we got for in here now for not craftable for phosphate? Okay. We want. I've got a bit of a full inventory. In fact, let's get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need. Oops, that's also full. <laughs> oh, maybe get a wrench. Let's just move these else elsewhere. Pulverize it, don't need. I don't need a blank pattern on me. I'll put it back over here. So, phosphorus, what have we got now? So we've got aluminium hyperphosphate, 39,000. And if we, basically, we need to phosphate, we can craft some, craft some, phosph some phosphate. Let's craft 100 of those. I'm actually going to use oxygen I don't want that I want a D I want a D um what's the word I'm looking for decompose that phos hyperphosphate let's go into here and I'm sure I've got some de decomposing setup on this anyway let's go downstairs and have a quick look if I remember right it's in this corner over here That's doing venous or sulfur, and this one is decomposing hyperphosphate into hydrogen, and hydrogen is full up. Okay, so we need to do get rid of some of this hydrogen. I probably got a hydrogen store up here. I have, and it's only it's actually not full. Interesting. Let's get rid of this stuff. Is it not? F that's an export bus. I can't put a speed upgrade into storage bus, I don't think. No. But I can put one into. No. I'd have to basically come along here and import. Import into here. It's 38,000. It's fairly full anyway. Let's, go and ha let's upgrade this because you're looking a bit full. 
I can make this do in the next level up. I think we should be able to do that quite easily. I think. I think it's Enderium that's required for this one, for the uses of that. And we want, did I do recipe? I want the uses of it. Has it gone to? Yeah, I did recipe uses. So that'll, okay, fine, reinforce, we should be able to do that, no problem. Gosh, all these caches are getting upgraded and upgraded as time goes on. Okay, let's put it in between these two residents. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And this one here has got a priority, I hope, of one. Yes, it has good. So I need to get this hydrogen out of here a bit faster. Okay, so what we'll do for that, we'll just create an export bus. Have I got enough? Yes, I have good. So we'll just take export hydrogen, take one hydrogen. Put an export bus on it, like this, and connect that up. I think it'll connect up quick, reasonably well. Huh. In fact, let's just remove this one because we don't need that. Save ourselves a piece of pipe. And let's put an acceleration card onto this one and put hydrogen into it. So now we should start to get hydrogen fed into here fairly quickly. We are. Now, is that taking the hydrogen out of here? It is, good. Ah, so now we're actually getting some P. Good, because that makes more sense. Ah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Clear it out. That was a bit of a... I haven't seen that problem before, to be honest with you. So this export bus looks like it's actually using up all of this fast. So let's put a, an acceleration guard into here as well. Let's keep that full. Wow. Do I need two? My goodness. No, I think that's going up slowly. Good. Right, so we've got some. So now we've got some phosphate in store, and it's being generated again, which is also good. Well, maintenance quite a lot. Actually, it's surprising. So let's see if we can do that piece of wood again. <laughs> Craft that piece of wood. Next, this time we can, we can start it. So then, if you look at over here, we're going to get a very long crafting recipe to make this scheduled this one piece of wood. In fact, what's going to happen is all of these items that is going to be produced are going to end up into this assembly table here. And then when they've ended up in here, we can then click the button to make the uh, 16K storage. And then we've got the 16K storage, and then we can actually program the recipe correctly. So that was my little trick for doing this. And the resources we're using in this is just incredible. I can't actually believe it. Let's push that away. We don't need that. In fact, I don't need the, these items anymore. I'm pushing this back in. doesn't affect that recipe, by the way. It's still going to craft four of these 4K storage components and 16 1K storage components. In fact, these are already being crafted as a separate item because these are going to get exported out into here anyway so we're up to 58 now with 64 i also got some dense lead and some lapis lazuli plate being exported into here by ex putting in a, a capacity card in here adding those into the storage now there is one more thing we could add into there as well and that is the um basically it's the tungsten plating walls which we're trying to the fusion walls sorry so we need 64 of these as well. So let's see if we can get some... I think the coal chunks might be made now. we got 32. Wow. And a crafting recipe for that. So what we can do with these, we can come along here. We can basically put those into there, half of those, put those into there. 
Now the rest that will start to trigger the recipes again to start making more cold chunks. So let's have a look at that. So that's the CPU one, and that's going to zero. That's going to be full for a very long time. This one's going to finish fairly soon, and this one, oh, the other one, hasn't started yet. It should have done that. Should have think about it. Unless there's a problem with cold chunks. Let's have a look. Oops, not the problem. Try again. Well, if we craft one of those. No, it's got enough. It's got enough items available to craft one of those. So they should actually start to craft anyway. Let's press the button here and let's have a look at this. But it's still free, so it must not have gone into that one. But I'm not going to... Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, of course it's not going to work, is it? Because I haven't put that in here. Like that. Now it'll have triggered it. The only bad thing, of course, is we're now using three CPUs. So we don't have any spare CPUs in here. So that's scheduled just one. But it'll go on and it'll process. We basically needed eight flints, I think. Stored scheduled six. And then this'll go off. Now I could. Hmm. I can't do much to be dead on for you. I'm a bit stuck. Let's put these two away. So, like grey rock. Well, I'm not sure I put that up either. And put the wood away. So that was that. So where it's grindy is I'm just going round here now. I've also increased the, sp the speed of the silicon. So now, and I also changed the face of these because they were driving me crazy to be inputs. So basically, gravel's crafting much faster. It's got a max speed upgrade in this one now. And the same with um, cobblestone, it's max speed upgrades. I have to I had to turn off um, this machine because um, I ran out of water, believe it or not. It, the water that just completely got used up, which was preventing me making speed upgrades. Anyway, we can turn this on again now. And that will start to make more cobblestone. So the spare, yeah, the cobblestone wasn't be, was being used, wasn't yeah actually was working enough. We're making enough cobblestone over here, in this tower. So we're actually making cobblestone in two different areas. You'll also notice that these are starting to go off now, because I think all the broken ores have been done. So cobblestone, it should be in here. So we've got twenty eight thousand. So it's going up nicely now. But as soon as I turn on the um, the, comp the compress those, it'll use them all up, no problem at all. So at the moment I'm not doing that. So let's have a look at ores. So it's still got some of these broken iron, uh, broken iron ore. Yes, it's starting to do broken nic nickel, actually. I don't know what the order is. Now. Let's just change the order to being number of items. So it should start to be doing broken nickel as a high priority test. Oh, I don't know what we've got. Let's just check that. Let's take one of those with us. Come along here. I think there are nine different materials, but I'm not sure I've got broken little in here. That's broken iron ore. So in this export filter, have I got broken? Nope, I haven't. Ah, OK, that was why it wasn't getting... I was expecting the nickel to be going down fairly fast. Should we shift that way? Yes, we can. Good. So now the nickel is going to go down very quickly because that that one there is basically doing all of the ores. Now there are nine of them. I thought there were nine. I was going, why are there only eight? Anyway, so it'll be doing those quite fast, keeping that flowing, and the two will disappear disappear from the actual system. Let's go back down here and have to double check that while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you see, there's basically nothing. It's, these are going down s f quickly now, which is good. And the rest of these ores are just coming in slowly. 
also got 10 miniature hearts which I haven't done it oops which I haven't done anything with yet let's just have a quick look click that and the uses of that I don't think I'm not sure I just press that it's just the uses of this one let's click it here and then whoa uses okay we can make this but we need a jeweled apple which is an apple with so that's probably in apples do you know we haven't got any apples because we've got no trees oh, okay how do we make an apple okay we can make it from water and malic acid well malic acid is fairly straightforward so we could do that necrotic burn is going to be a bit tough i don't know how to get that one it's just a drop from a wither skeleton well we could do this actually because we have got that nice little mob grinder which is actually working quite well and we got a bucket of witch water let's just trust you can do that so if this is actually not too dangerous um bucket i want a bucket i'm just wondering how i'm going to do it to be honest with you so we'll get a bucket of witch water we should have one across here no problem and it should be daylight because I just bought a load of tank, filled up a load of water tanks to put them in here and then basically set this up below here. Can I actually right click this onto here? Maybe not. Let's suppose can I do it onto here? Hmm, no, I don't think I can. I might think I have to do it the side or something like that. So I might be able to get the barrel. Oh yeah, of course I can. Yeah, no problem. So what you can now try to do is to put in here one bucket of witch water. Now how am I going to do that? Let's just dig down here a bit. This is a weeny bit risky I think. Now I'm too far over. If I put dig that one out of here and then put the bucket of witch water down before I do that can I put a bucket yes I'll put some dirt I'm going to do it back here so it doesn't hit me because it hurts oops I can't do that I'm too too near let's just have to move it back one okay I think we can do it like this Okay, so we put a bucket of witch water down, say here. Good, we can do that. Oh, and it hasn't actually come out. That's interesting. Oh, it has come out. <laughs> it's come out here. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm sure that mobs will come into this. One or two of them, anyway. If I put this bucket of this block of moon dirt down here, uh huh. So that then went across. Okay, good. I got a block of dirt over. Here. Let's put this block of dirt over here. Okay, I've still got witch water down here, but I don't care about that so much. We'll just have to see when the next mob comes along, see what happens. If they actually turn into an evolved or whatever type of mob. In fact, you usually come in spawning faster than that. Where are they all today? I don't want to go into that, it hurts. Hmm, strange. It's bound to be one spawn as soon as I turn me back on it, because you always do. Oh, here we go. Yep, he's turned into an evolved creeper. Does he die? Oh, yes, he does die. 
Oh, he's dropped a skeleton skull. What else? Okay. We'll see if we get any necrotic bones from um, skeletons when they spawn. Interesting. So, as far as crafting goes, at the moment I'm a bit stuck. What I could do is decompose some stuff, but I don't know. Let's have a look at what quests we've got to do. So, that moon trance is all done. If that was like we're waiting for the rocket, maybe we should look at the rocket. This is the one we're doing the fusion wall, and that'll open up these two other quests. Crystallize, well, we're stuck on crystallize because we can't do any of it. Um, unless I cheat it in. Take flight. At the moment, we're basically, we've got to make two things. This efficiency is the key. And this one has got to make an air fuel mixer, which is a bit on the heavy side. And this one here is a matter fabricator. We, and we can't submit it. I don't know how to do this. What I could try is detecting and submitting it, but I think the game will crash if I do that. So I'll do that at my own time. <laughs> and then that will open up these two here, which is spice and rubber. So I reckon that it's probably time to make a slice and spice and dice. And I think we could actually make a spice and a spice and slice. Was it spice or slice? I'm not really sure which. I've got too many things selected in here, so I can't see what it's looking. It's an Ender IO device. Let's let's clear off what I've got because I don't really need caches and augments and fusion walls and hulls, rockets, compressors. Yeah, let's get rid of all of that stuff. I think it might be slice actually. Here we go. A slice and dice. Solarium ahead. No problem. Shears and that. So we could make solarium. Now I think all we have to do for that is take some sandstone and put some gold on it. So let's get out of the system the gold for um, gold the gold this one. And We've made some soul sand. Well, I did anyway. Soul sand's very easy. Just witch water on sand. So if we come here, like this, put into this filter the gold, and then put down... I don't know if this will work or not. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. Okay, let's turn that off. <laughs> let's remove that. Let's put this down. Oh, I can do it. Good. Now I should be able to turn this on put some gold into it what's going to happen here yes so this time I've got solarium I think this is the way we have to do it so ah, that's what I was worried about so I'm going to end up with lots of gold plates blank casts so I'm going to have to do this the hard way put it in let it fill up take it out again Unless there's a better way of doing this. Well, maybe there is. We only need five. So I will only do five. Ah, I have an idea. Let's go and get Hopper. one hopper if I remember rightly we should be able to feed this automatically with a hopper so let's just come here and put a hopper on the side of it put into the hopper the salt sand and see if that actually works it does good fantastic let's see if this now works yep it's taken it out take out that one gold fills it up how about that then Semi-automation, it's a great thing. So we now we've got enough. But what I'll do is I think I'll make all of this. So 
I'll leave that anyway. So that's where we've got our solarium now. Now I think we can make this slice and dice straight away. Yep, because I made the shears. I've got to ask a head. Well, let's just look for heads in here. Because I've got 75 skeletons. Uh, not creeper heads. We'll use a creeper head instead. There we go. And we can make a slice and dice. And we can go and put this down somewhere. Now, at the moment, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I will be honest. Where am I putting my odd machines? Probably around about here somewhere. Now, we'll put it over this side here. And that'll get fueled up, and then it takes some shears and an axe. What are the recipes? What can we make with this thing? The recipes here, of course. Yeah, we can make zombie heads. We just basically... We need a logic controller, I think. Endermen heads are going to be a bit difficult at the moment. Because endermen don't appear here naturally. I wonder if we can actually make a powered spawner. I know we've got this spawner control. Powered spawner. Oh, we can actually make that with a Z logic controller. So that would give us a powered spawner. Um, the reason I was thinking about this is because of one of those quests. If I look at this one here and go back to crystallize, this one here would actually give us spawn slams. We could actually catch any of these things and then we could make a spawner for them. The next thing we're going to do, of course, is make a weatherproof thing. So let's see if we can actually make... I think we do need to do it this way. We can make wither stars when we get later on, which wouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'm being a bit uncertain, aren't I? Let's have a look. I think if there's anything weatherproof in the system here. Here we go, we can. Enderai has got reinforced which is obsidian, which is weatherproof, which is made from dark steel and obsidian. Actually, this is not going to be too difficult. So we can cast it. So basically, molten dark or liquid. So molten dark steel, hopefully there's actually a recipe. There is, good. Liquid steel and molten obsidian. Okay, that'll produce dark. Now that isn't too difficult. Because we can make steel by actually liquid steel by using refined iron. Let's have a look. Uh, I did actually make a thousand of these. Okay, let's make 32. Let's see if this works. So now, if we come over here, this is the induction crucible furnace. If I put that into here, that will generate liquid steel, which is now going into the system. So we need molten obsidian. So let's go and get some obsidian. We have plenty of obsidian, about 10,000 blocks, I think. Yep, 10k. And this will actually refill itself automatically. So if we put this 10k, this 64k into here, well that should also smelt, smelt. Yes, it does. And that's going to give us molten obsidian. Fantastic. So all we now need to do is to mix it. So let's go and get make some more of those whip things. They're not really called whip things. And that's molten steel. Let's have a look for the recipe of this, because I always forget what it is. I know it's a bucket between two quartz glass. OK. And I've run out of quartz glass. Let's make some quartz glass. Ah, I might not be able to craft some quartz glass at the moment, because we've got no craft CPUs available. Fantastic. Um. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop 
one of these processes if I take this one out of here like that it'll stop producing these for the time being and I think that's probably a good idea to do anyway because I really do need a CPU at least one CPU I could make another CPU of course because I've got 4k storage here I wonder if I could decompose the CPU to make use it for 64k because we're not using anywhere near 64k for any of our processes anyway let's have a look I probably can't do it yet no let's have a look at what the processes are happening in here so that's the CPU zero that's crafting single oh we should be able to do that now let's try again quartz let's craft four of these actually and 16 good so with this one we should be able to come into here and select we need to select molten obsidian that's molten energetic Mol liquid steel this one here we want liquid steel and we want liquid obsidian so how are we doing for quartz glass none yet let's go and check the recipe let's see how it's doing actually it's not doing too badly it won't be very long before that's there we go got ready oh, we got enough to make uh, quartz glass make two they don't stack so that's why you have to do it like I have to do it like that so now we want the molten obsidian which is this one so let's put that into there like that let's put this back into the system that will end up in the chest um, below and this blank casts I think we just smelt it put it back again into the into the magna crucible and that will then smelt back into gold Right, we can do it. we won't do it like this because if you look oh that's liquid gold yeah I'll do that in a short while because we're doing the nickel in here at the moment which is still running through won't be too long before that's finished so now well, let's go to the alloy mix here here so if we say that we want molten obsidian and liquid steel they will come into here and they're making dark steel as you can see which ones it run out of liquid we've got plenty of molten obsidian we need some more liquid steel so let's just go and get some more liquid steel probably we have enough now for 32 ingots of um, dark steel molten dark steel uh, I'm not sure Okay, well, let's get the cast out of that thing again. So we need the, the, f the pattern. I think it's the fluid pattern, isn't it? This one. And let's select molten dark steel here. So we now have that recipe. In fact, I can easily put these back into the system and they will go into the chest. And we would like to get some more refined iron. Let's do it like this. If I put the if I put the refined iron into here, it'll it'll smelt, go into the system, and end up back in here. We're making more molten dark steel. Now in here, let's just put into this filter at the top of that, which is empty. Good. This molten dark steel and we should end up with some dark steel ingots there we go how about that and that'll just run on and keep ticking away making the odd molten dark steel and you'll see this is actually going up and down as the refined iron from here is being processed in fact I'm not exactly sure that's one and a half stacks of that compared to one stack of obsidian interesting let's get another one and a half stacks of refined iron because it's something you're going to need we're going to need a lot of if we actually want to do it with a wither to grind a wither we could grind a wither for the um 
now this is the word I always get wrong divination signal or division signal the division signal isn't it and the division signal will give us the well actually it would be a way of getting cursed earth and ingots of course but mm, maybe we won't do that I don't like playing around with those unstable ingots I have died quite a few times from those anyway I shall leave it like that for this episode because I've gone past my time again I didn't mean to anyway until next time I hope you've enjoyed this series or this episode and the series of course and I'll see you next time bye for now